Hey Solis, I'm here to tell you about our Bark Menders competition coming up October 17th at 9 a.m. This is going to be an in-house competition for Solis athletes only. Uh, it's our charity event. This year all proceeds will be benefiting Stacy Rigsby and her family, mostly just because we love her, but also because they had a lot of tragedy this summer we want to help out however we can. So what I'm going to do now is just give you guys a quick overview of the wides that are coming up for that competition. Um, what we were aiming for is having a competition that everybody can compete in. Uh, whoever thinks they're the fire breather of the box, down to whoever just wants to do air squats, there's room for everybody. And in fact, the more people we get signed up, the merrier, because we got lots of movements for everybody. So, we're going to have teams of 10, and wide number one will be two athletes on the field at one time, but only one athlete working. The rest of the team will be over in their box. And the idea here is just you can substitute as much as you need. So 50 pull-ups, 500 meter row, 50 pistols, 500 meter run, 50 toe bar, 250 double unders, 50 ring rows, 10 rope climbs, 250 singles, 10 bar or ring muscle ups, and then a 50 foot handstand walk. Again, I'll reiterate again, the idea here is you can substitute as much as you need. So you can bring two athletes onto the field and they can trade off, or once one finishes, they can run over to the box, another athlete gets ready to take off once the other gets tired. Wide number two and three will be the same wide, but there will be a separate score for the males and for the females. Uh, so this is gonna be five rounds done in increasing weight. 20 deadlifts, 15 cleans, 10 shoulder overhead, and five snatches. The men's weight as below, 95, 105, 115, 135, and 155 pounds. And for the ladies, it'll be 65, 75, 85, 95, and 105. Again, the weight is completely doable for everyone, especially at the deadlift and the clean weight. And then you go from there. That's gonna be a 12 minute time cap on that one, and it'll be four times. And then wide number four, is completely for time, and this one is just an all-out race. So this is the only one where we won't have substitutions. Uh, whichever two athletes you put on the field, those two athletes have to complete that movement, and it's a race off to the finish. So we start with handstand push-ups. For this one, there's a little bit of a catch. The athletes have to do these synchronized. So that means that both of them have to be at the bottom at the same time and at the top at the same time. Once they've completed that, there's gonna be a partner carry off to the finish line. Once they hit the finish line, the next set of two will go, starting with air squats. Again, they both have to be at the bottom of the squat at the same time. Hip has to be open at the same time. And then they will do tire flips down to the end of the finish line. Next set, kettlebell swings. Again, kettlebell has to hit the bottom and the top at the same time. With farmer's carries down to the finish line, we'll have burpees to plate for the next pair with lunges and then end on pull-ups. Again, elbows extended at the same time, chin over the bar at the same time, followed by a human sled pull. That one's strictly for time and it's an all-out race.